Right, okay. I think it looks like... Um, I think Chris is going to win out. It was a bit close to the thought, actually. I think it's about uh, about two to one uh, majority. Uh, and I say, I, I might well look to do... I mean, I have enjoyed this mod, and I'm not saying that... Uh, this is the final one of these I'll ever do. I might well do some more of this um, further down the line. Um, we'll have to see. It's also possible that perhaps um, the stream I've got planned for next Friday, it might not work. I might not be able to get it up and running. In which case, this is certainly a backup. And if we do another stream of this, it will most certainly be Jill, 100%. Right then. So, I think it's about time we get this game up and running, shan't we? That sounds like an intelligent thing to do. Alright, so let's boot the game. Hopefully the audio levels should be pretty, pretty solid. I haven't changed them since yesterday. Uh, we need to change to that. My headset has gone silent. I should probably turn that back on. Um, Randomizer for RV0, unfortunately we don't believe that is the case, um, as much as, uh, as distressing as that is, so. Oh, there's my mouse. It wasn't turning up earlier. Interesting. Right, so let's boot the game. Uh, oh, it didn't ask me about connecting to... Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right, so let's go with, uh, let's go with Chris's cleared data. Why the hell not? That is the rough plan, Classics. That is the rough plan. Um, but I haven't had an opportunity to really set things up. So uh, we shall have to see how we go. All right, then. Let's boot up the trainer. Hence, more fantastic system sounds for all of you guys. Because I know you love them. That can be minimized now. All right, then. So we shall be playing this with Chris on hard mode. It's found it. That's good. All right, then. So we have to go fire the once again, I believe. I'm kind of nervous about this. <laughs> I know that might sound kind of crazy, but this is this is quite a steep challenge we've got here. Right, random items, random enemies, random locks. We've unshackled the enemy bosses so they can uh, so they can spawn as and where they so desire. This could be interesting. Resident Evil. Of course, we have uh, super costumes. Freaking, oh my, God, I haven't seen that for ages. Freaking, is that based off of something? I can't even remember. I can't remember. So, as so I we are we playing this, Chris, and uh, I reckon, I think we're going to need all the muscle behind us that we can get. This is the max muscle run. We'll call it that. <laughs> max muscle run? What? Oh, God. Alpha team is flying around I'll let this play out today. I found it. Northwest Raccoon City. We can chat we amongst it. We can chat to ourselves. Our compatriots. Bravo team. Um, I honestly don't know, Blue. I, I, it's one thing I should know, but I don't. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims. Aww, aren't they a happy family? Eaten. Well, they were. The Bravo team was sent in. So, yeah, so uh, one thing we will have to be very, contact. very careful of in this room. And let me just, uh, I'm just going to quieten the game down just a little Bravo bit while we do this. Um, one thing we need to be very careful of in this run is that. Uh, uh, I didn't actually let this scene play out in the in the stream yesterday. Uh, I actually didn't let this play out. Um, we need to be very careful about potentially soft locking the game. I reckon it could be easier than we, we reckon. Our search for the other we virtually soft locked part of the game the first stream, so nightmare. we need to be very careful. So there will be some saves coming in for sure. I 
I mean, I remember some people commented about like the original, uh, the original versions, the live action version. I mean, I never get tired of seeing that. This isn't that bad though. This isn't too shabby. It does what it needs to do. Poor bastard. Um, Origin the Species is um, is a uh, it's basically a modified version of uh, the Resident Evil 2 game. Um, it's a mod that is available. Uh, I think uh, Classic's been playing around a bit. Uh, Pistol Pete as well has a version of it on his channel too. I mean, it's what I'm hopefully going to be looking to set up to stream next week. Uh, as for Dino Crisis, uh, I haven't actually had a chance to record any more of it because streaming. So <laughs> I would normally have recorded more of that today, but we're doing this instead. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Of course, as we know, Brad's just going off to um, have, have himself a chill time as we established last stream. Hey. Chris, this way. Um. Yeah, push this way. So he doesn't eat no breath. He just like one word. It's so great. Uh, I mean, you could just throw a channel into the Discord server. I think that'd be easy. I'm pretty sure Maple's in the Discord. If you're not, then get in the Discord <laughs> now. I demand it. Stop this stream. Get in the Discord and then come back. There are only three Stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Poor, poor Barry. <sighs> yes, Dad. Is everyone all right? <laughs> Good stuff. Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. So disinterested. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what she's trying to say there. Like, I'm scared. I think that's what she's after. I think. I'm not sure. <sighs> yes, Barry's busy guarding the elevator. This is true. <laughs> right. Oh. Okay. 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 I remember this. So, because we're running this off of a new game. We currently have the custom handgun, uh, which fires, yes, 40, 40, uh, 40, um, yeah. Um, now, the standard handgun spawns in a chest, right? No, it doesn't. We don't even start the standard handgun. Um, so, I think, uh, I think only fair that we don't use this gun for this run, because unlimited ammo, unlimited ammo. You know what I mean? So, we shall uh, unequip that. As cool as a gun as it is, I think it's best we don't use it. Start off with a green herb. That's always good times. Besides, I don't need a knife. I should just punch these damn zombies in the face, right? Eh, I might show it off in a moment. There's one room I can think I might show it off, actually, so... Alright then, so... Everyone's favourite scene... Or Kenneth getting brutally... M hmm. That's not a zombie. I guess that makes sense. A zombie... A, a dog? I can get behind that. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Making some interesting sounds, however, it must be said. All right, then. Let's go report to Captain Wesker, everyone, and tell him of the obscene things we're all about to see. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? You know, you'd think with all of those damn ammo things that Chris has got on his 
chest and his back on that vest. You think he'd pack some ammo and stuff in those, wouldn't you? And so it begins. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, I guess I'll show off the gun once. Because it would be criminal to not open this door, right? It wouldn't be fair, right? Oh, shit! I can't fight that! Um, hmm. That's not good. I can't fight her. We're out of here, kids. <laughs> Fucking Lisa. Great. And of course, we've unshackled the enemy spawn. So, uh... Any enemy can spawn wherever the hell it wants. Uh, there is no limit. Yep, we, she, yep, Lisa will be in that room forever now. We can't do anything about that. Fantastic. Oh, good news, everyone. Our land sharks are back. <laughs> Fucking things. I guess we'll, we'll show this off. So I'll, I'll try and kill one. So it fires like a normal handgun, except it fires a lot quicker. Which is kind of cool. It's, it's nice. I'll kill one, just to show it off. I know, right? It's, it's exactly the same. I wouldn't say it's normal, but uh, at least there's some consistency. Ink ribbons, not inconsequential. Not inconsequential. We're going to be saving a fair bit in this run, I suspect. All right, then. So, this lock randomization stuff. It'd be interesting to see how this actually is going to work. Um, I assume that means that doors that are standardly locked with a key... Those are randomized. I don't think it like will it will uh, random every door in the game, but I don't know. Yes, land shot back. Hmm. She's like she's like a stealth Lisa. She's not actually making any sounds, which is quite novel. So, uh, let's, let's, let's let it be. So, that's not a crimson head. Right. So, making this work is, uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, dear God. Yes, hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We are running with randomized doors, randomized enemies, randomized items. The game is on hard mode. We have unshackled the amount of... Woo, that's not a place to be. We have unshackled the amount of boss spawns so they can spawn wherever they want, however much they want. And for that matter, they also... Um, one little thing you might have uh, missed slightly... Oh, fucking tyrant. Is that uh, the fuel supply capsule will be armed on pickup, folks. So we've got that fun to encounter later on. Yeah, we don't even have the knife. The knife, because we... This fucking tyrant, I swear. <laughs> yes, he is an all tyrant. I have made it um, so that the tyrants are the version we would fight in the lab. This way, they are technically beatable. And we don't have a repeat of previous situations we have had before. Can he not get through there? Huh. I don't think he can get through that. He's getting caught on the pillar. 
Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> He's too fat. Uh, rooms are not randomized in this run. Rooms, rooms are the one thing that have not been altered. So I'm going to take a hit here, everyone. This is going to be bad. I don't know if there's much I can do about this. Uh, let's get out of there. Yeah, he's just big bone, damn it. Leave the tyrant alone. So it's good news that the first two, well, two out of the three first enemy spawns have been bosses. Oh, no. No. Bad. Leave me alone. Right, we need to get to a weapon box, everyone. <laughs> that seems like a really, really good thing to do. Let's see what's here. What is the jewel, by the way? We don't have... What jewel is it for this? The red jewel? I think so. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, then. Yeah, so we need to go and get to a weapon box so we actually have a weapon. That I'm actually going to be allowed to use. Uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, I haven't uh, had a chance to mess around with it yet. Um, hopefully we'll do soon. Um, I'm expecting some point in early next week. I have to get the PS4. I'm going to be recording on first before I get the opportunity to... Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? Why did I unshackle the AI? Why did I do this to myself? Oh my god. This this is a bad room, everyone. How bad? Yeah, this is um what can only be described as complicated. I guess we're not going that way. I guess we're taking a different route through the fucking building. Oh, man. <laughs> you hear that glitching sound? Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Yeah, don't, I don't even want to figure out the fuel supply caps are right now. So, we're not going that way. That's the route I would normally take through the mansion. The game is insisting we take a different route. So, I'm going to accept that. I guess we're going through the west side. The east side before the west, I suppose. Which I never do. I always go west side first. But the game... There we go. The power key? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Power key? I Oh, this is this is a terrible idea. Can I cancel the stream, guys? See you next week. <laughs> oh man. Get every single muscle that Chris possesses to get through this mess. Let's take the map. No. Why? Why? What? More of a man like Chris? <laughs> Do we need the broken shotgun? I don't know if we need it or not. The broken shotgun does indeed have a spawn. And playing as Chris, we can't access a spawn without the broken shotgun. So I reckon we take it. I reckon we take it. Uh oh. Hi, George. How you doing, sir? It's so great to see you. <laughs> well, this dagger's uh, this dagger's going to heaven, everyone. Run! That could have been significantly worse. That could have been significantly worse. All right, then let's push the uh, push these. 
This is so weird going this... That's not a bad find. That's not a bad find. Considering how bloody long it took us to find this damn thing last week. We've got the dog whistle immediately. That's not bad. <laughs> not, you know, it's not a tyrant whistle, unfortunately. I know. Sad times. Um, isn't there a... Ah, oh, right. Hard mode. There's less item spawns, aren't there? Forgot about that. <laughs> it's been ages since I've played this game on hard mode. It's been a long, long time. Not sure. Man, look look at Chris's arms. Holy shit. What the hell? <laughs> Dear Lord. Right, I don't want to go out here because there's enemies. Um, I tell you what, I reckon let's go do the broken shotgun. We've got it. Let's go do it. I don't see a reason not to. What do you mean I can't? Of course I can. I got the broken shotgun. Now, you think I have a full inventory, but you would be wrong. Self-defense gun. That's not a bad find. What is it? <laughs> That's worth a green herb. I don't care what anyone says. That herb has gone to charity, everyone. Accept it. Here's the suicide moat for the uh, self defense. I'll show it off quickly. Sure, why not? Let's get ourselves a residence note before we actually go to the residence. There we go. Well, if I die, we can all look and say, "Oh, he should have kept that herb." <laughs> what a what a stupid person. Ah, uh, that's no worry, Blue. Um. You haven't missed too much, although we have immediately seen the consequences of having unlimited boss spawns. We're taking the east wing of the mansion, which I never do. I always go west first. So me going here this early, it's kind of weird. I'm not used to this. Right, we've got ourselves the self-defense gun, so we might as well swing in here. We also have the shotgun now, which is nice. Low, low. So many muscles. <laughs> now this might look like a zombie. That may not remain the case. <laughs> That was so beautiful. Oh, man. Right in the face. Good times. I highly approve. Suncrest. All right, then. That's good. I can get behind that. Yep. Yeah, Chimera again. I, I, I'm sure that's random. Well, we had a spider in there once, didn't we? Either way, self-defense gun. Just wreck that. That was, that was beautiful. Yeah, I think, as we have uh, found out, um, there are a... Huh? What? Unlocked it? This door was locked? This door... Wait, no, no, oh, wait. Was this door ever locked? I don't remember that. Or am I losing my mind? I've never known this door ever to be locked. On either side. Hmm. Curious. Curious. Most curious. We need to start checking out more of these doors, everyone. I think that's something we should be doing. 
Let's let's not go in that room though. That would uh that could end badly. I don't know. Oh god, that's a small key. Right, okay, so that's a small key. Right, you guys chat you're gonna need to help me out with this shit because I may not remember very much of this. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> oh man, good times. Good times. That's not good though. Hmm. We we need to get into this item box, everyone. The umbrella choir have turned up. Oh my god. This is all kinds of glitched. Oh man, I thought I dodged that. Jesus Christ, listen to the sound. It's all kinds of fucked. Oh my God. All right then. Let's put stuff away. So there's the survival knife. We have the closet key we could play around with. We should actually, we should actually explore. I never go in there. We should explore that. Uh, we're going to put this handgun away because I, again, have no intentions of using it in this room. Let's go on back down here. Let's put those away. Is the knife actually going to be of any practical use in this run? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. First aid spray. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. We've got the stone metal object immediately. So we can already head out to the courtyard. That's not bad. That's not bad. I am okay with this. Here's the uh, the V-Act um, instructions. Did I miss this the first two runs? Oh, no. You can find it in here. Oh, yes. I totally forgot. You can find this in this item box or you can find it in the serum room. But I always go to the serum room first. So I never sp have it spawn in here. If you, Of course, you always suggest a knife run. <laughs> so we're going to save the game. Because saving is probably a good idea. You think it's a good idea, everyone? Yeah, this is this is not a good room to have this uh, have Lisa spawning in. It's kind of rough. I'm gonna take some hits, unless I dodge like a professional or something. Am I a professional, everyone? I don't think so. Uh, survival knife. Let's just let's just wipe this down here. I will want to explore the closet key. We'll, uh, we'll mess around with that later. We will, we'll get an opportunity to do that. Okay, so... Which way do we fancy going, everyone? Which way do we fancy? I kind of want to explore the second floor, but it's so dangerous. It's so, 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 so dangerous. I'm kind of scared to go up there. That door's locked anyways on the second floor. And we could unlock this in theory from behind, I think. So I think we're going to do that. We, I'm, I'm pondering going to... Uh, I'm pondering going outside. I'm not totally against this. Although, yeah, we could at least a shout. That's actually not a bad shout, Blade. I actually... I tell you what, I like that idea. I like that idea so much, we're actually going to go and do it. We're actually going to go and do it. Did I just put out the ink ribbon? Oh, good. Run! Of course, we have to bear in mind that this door is... Uh, this doorknob's not going to do too well, so we need to be careful of this. So let's head over to the shack, then. Dog? Dog? Yeah, it's weird, right? Come on. Come on. Good.
I should check to see the door to the office, but I'm so scared because of what happened last stream. I don't want to go in there. Don't know what it is. Don't care. Yeah, the choir is dead, everyone. I'm sure it will come back. It was funny. It's just, it's just so bizarre, the zombie hordes. In the spirit of the zombie hordes into that dog. Good times. Right, let's grab some items. Blue herb. Blue herbs are good, as we established in the last run. Hey, golden arrow. Found that nice early, too. I'm okay with this. Some pots. And a, a flash grenade, which actually is a flash grenade. Okay. So we can tell immediately how different this is going to be. And this is the one thing that's really cool with randomizing, like, items and that, is that the progress you're going to make through the map is just so... You don't know where you're going to be forced to go in what order. <laughs> 